So in this uh, video, I'd like to give you an introduction into cell respiration. This topic can be a little bit confusing if you've not uh, heard of it before. Um, so I'd like to give you a basic uh, overview and I'm going to start at zero. So what is cell respiration? Cell respiration has nothing to do with the respiratory system like the lungs, but rather it is a control. It's a controlled breakdown of organic substances to release energy. It happens in the cells. And in, this, in the cells, uh, glucose, which is our main energy source, is completely broken down to CO2 and, and water. Yeah? And uh, the thing is now, what, what do I need for that? I need oxygen for that. Okay, So I have uh, six molecules of oxygen, a molecule of glucose, I make six CO2 and six molecules of water. That's the complete formula. Yeah. So, and glucose is of course C6H12O6. Uh, uh, and uh, that is uh, the overview formula. And in cell respiration, this topic, I'm going to explain you how this actually happens because there are many steps involved here, um, how this, uh, how this uh, happens. And this is uh, basically the um, idea of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of cell respiration in the IB uh, syllabus to have a, um, a more detailed look at the different stages um, in between here. Okay, So first of all, you have to understand that glucose is our main energy source. We eat uh, starch um, and it is uh, broken down in our digestive system. And in our um, cells, uh, the glucose is then burned. It is uh, combined with oxygen. Um, and in this whole process, uh, what we make is we produce a lot of ATP, which is our energy. So you have to understand uh, there are essentially two things that go on, okay? Um, number one, or two questions you have to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself, number one is what happens to the substance, to the carbon, okay? So what happens to the matter, okay? So for example, e.g. carbon. Yeah, that is matter. And the second thing that you have to ask yourself is, is what happens uh, to the energy? Okay, that is the thing that you have to ask yourself. And of, of course, you can see that the matter, the carbon over here is, is uh, ends up in the form of carbon dioxide. And the energy, which is uh, stored in glucose, I'm just going to use a star over here, uh, will uh, also be released and in the form of ATP. Okay, so um, in other words, we're now going to zoom in into the cells and we're going to have a look on how this uh, stage, uh, how this process here um, happens. OK, so but there is one thing that I would, would I need to explain a little bit um, so that I don't have to explain it uh, later so much. The question is, is now what is uh, oxidation and reduction? These are two chemical terminologies that you have to know. So oxidation and reduction. Okay, so let's uh, let me um, uh, briefly um, explain this. Uh, the whole cell respiration is an oxidation process. So that means we're adding oxygen. You see the oxygen over here. Okay, um, and we're breaking it down and into CO2, and this releases energy. So oxidation releases energy, and uh, I'm going to now and reduction. Um, is is the opposite of oxidation and in oxidation we are removing we are removing electrons and hydrogens from a molecule okay from a substance okay and uh, that uh, then we are oxidizing the substance and when we're reducing something, that's the opposite. We're adding electrons. Okay. So, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use a very simple, I'm just going to use letter A, that's substance A. And the substance is now converted to, let's say, substance B. And uh, let's say that this is an oxidation process. So, what I have to do is I have to remove electrons and associated hydrogens from uh, substance A uh, to make a uh, substance B. And that is now an oxidation process. So, and the electrons, they carry the energy. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of breaking it down, yeah? Uh, but, uh, so uh, that it means now, the question is now where, how can I store these electrons? I mean, I cannot simply have uh, electrons floating around. So they cannot simply be removed that easily, but you need another substance that carries these electrons. So normally what we do is the following. We say um, A, 
um, and uh, is converted to B, and we have now an electron carrier. It's a substance called NAD+. Okay, and this NAD+, uh, goes over here to A and carries away electrons and hydrogens. Na, it becomes NADH. You notice it's neutral now, so because it carries an electron away, so I'm just going to write the electron is, is removed, and a hydrogen as well. Right? And this process, that's an oxidation process. Okay? That is, this is an oxidation process. The NAD plus over here is oxidized, so I'm going to write down an OX. And over here it is reduced because it is in the reduced form because it carries an electron. Okay? And over here substance A is reduced it has the electron and B over here is oxidized. Some people get this confused because they think if you reduce something then it becomes smaller or something like that. It has nothing to do with that. Okay? So when a substance is reduced then it carries electrons. And so you can see that one of them is oxidized over here, the other one is reduced and by transferring the electron uh, we're changing it around. The one over here carries the electrons now it's reduced and this uh, B substance is now has become oxidized. Yeah, okay, and we call this an oxidation. Where it's an oxidation of substance A. Yeah, and when we're doing this, uh, when we're removing electrons, we're breaking the substance down. And often, what happens um, at the same time is, is that we are at the same time also removing a CO2. This is yeah. So that is uh, when we're breaking it down. So we are removing the CO2 from a carbon. Okay, the C for the carbon we're removing from A. So let's say that this is a C, I don't know, I'm going to invent this, a C3 substance with three carbons. Then B must be a C2 substance because uh, we have uh, one carbon removed. Okay, and uh, when both happens at the same time, when we're removing electrons, in other words, when we're oxidizing something, and when we're removing carbon dioxide, we have a name for this called, it's called oxidative decarboxylation. Oxidative because we're oxidizing A, decarboxylation means the removal of carbon dioxide. Okay, very important. And if you just remember this here, uh, then uh, because this is a step that happens several times. Oxidative decarboxylation removes electrons from the substance. It therefore oxidizes it and uh, also carbon dioxide. In other words, when we're uh, removing carbon dioxide, we're breaking the substance down and we are catching the energy in the form of electrons in the NADH. So the energy is now stored in the NADH. Okay. So that is, uh, that is uh, basically um, all that I wanted to say for right now. Um, simply to give you an overview of, uh, of what cell respiration is about. Um, but I just need to tell you the following, just to clarify this a little bit, because some people are kind of surprised when I tell it to them, even though it's actually kind of obvious. I mean, uh, when we're eating food, right? Yeah, we're eating food, uh, we're exhaling CO2, right? So the food that the, the, the breakfast that I've eaten in the morning is now in the air in the form of CO2. So I'm exhaling my breakfast, in other words, right? Because the food is, uh, the glucose in the food is converted to carbon dioxide by my cells, and, uh, which ends up in the blood and then over the lungs it's exhaled. Of course, I mean, uh, when you have a candle, if you burn a candle, then what happens to the wax? Well, the wax is burned down, um, and is not, then the carbon is in the form of CO2 in the air. Same with the gasoline in the car. You know, I, I go to the gas station and fill it up, uh, I drive a few hundred kilometers, uh, then it's empty. Well, where is the gasoline? Well, it's burned. Where is it now? Well, it's CO2. Yeah? Same thing uh, with humans as well. And what I'm doing here in, in cell respiration, I'm kind of explaining you how the glucose, okay, the glucose, the food, how this is, uh, is converted uh, to CO2, okay? And that is a, 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 an oxidative process um, which releases energy so that we can live. And this takes uh, several stages and several steps. And that is what I'm going to explain in, the, in, in basically in, in the upcoming videos. So that was basically it, okay? So and now let's get started. Uh, with a more detailed look into cell respiration.